we have a very unequal society. So being a government entity as TIA, we need to also look at how we can transform the NSI, how we can use the resources we have to correct the imbalances of the past, etc. And you'll find none of these things are scripted in the new trends. So whilst we have a focus on ensuring that we can we can support and engage with the latest um, you know, the trends and the new uh, thinking that's emerging, we must be very cognizant to not leave the masses of our people behind in this entire chasm that we have. There's education, there's technical skills, but I think there's also a culture of innovation and there's a psyche around innovation that's also important for us to, to nurture and to support. If you look at schools currently, there is not enough uh, discussion, there is not enough awareness around the concept of innovation technology development. Uh, our, our, our systems at the moment advocate that we must be successful at any cost. We don't consider failure as an opportunity to learn. We don't consider failure as part of a developmental curve. We look at it as a stigma and unfortunately beyond just the, the skills and, and the technical side, I think we need to work a lot on our culture of innovation, our attitudes towards innovation, and we need to give people more space around exploring, challenging the boundaries, and maybe not realizing them in the first attempt, or the second attempt, or the third attempt, but still sticking with them. We have a long way to go around that. So over the last 50, 60 years, we've lost a great opportunity to look at how we can build on our stockpile of natural resources to transform our economy from a resource base to a knowledge base. So we've basically missed a lot of that opportunity. So we're looking at how do we now uh, you know, look at going back and capitalizing on. So if you look at natural resources, if you look at ICT, if you look at energy um, and all the other sectors that you did mention, all of them are equally important for us. What we do do though is from time to time and on an annual basis we look at what are the most urgent priorities within those sectors. So if you're looking at water as an example, you know, currently how do we save water, how do we optimize, how do we recycle water, those might be the important elements right now. Later on we might look at how do we convert, you know, we use water for, for hydroelectric power etc. Uh, but so these these projects are always influenced by the current challenges that we face in the country. Uh, but we need to look at how do we have the best level of beneficiation to our very very uh, abundant uh, natural resources, so that we don't end up as a country that merely exports our raw uh, materials and imports the finished goods. And unfortunately, you know, largely that's what we're doing. Hence the trade balance. Uh, deficit that we have as well.